Let's see how to make chicken mughalai. Hello dear friends and welcome to Kitchen Compass. I have taken 1 kg of curry cut pieces of chicken. Marinate the chicken with half teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 and a half teaspoons each of Kashmiri chili powder and normal chili powder, half teaspoon ginger powder or ginger paste, half teaspoon garlic powder or garlic paste and half teaspoon of salt. Marinate for at least half an hour. It can also be marinated in the refrigerator overnight. Now dry roast some spices for the Mughlai masala mix. For this into a heavy bottom pan add one and a half teaspoons of coriander seeds, half teaspoon peppercorns, about 4 Kashmiri dried chilies, 10 to 12 cashews, 10 to 12 almonds, 1 black cardamom, 3 to 4 green cardamoms, 3 to 4 cloves, 2 to 3 inch piece of cinnamon and 1 teaspoon jeera. Turn on the flame and dry roast the ingredients on a low flame for 2 to 3 minutes. Once dry roasted, add 2 tablespoons of kasuri methi, turn off the flame and set this aside to cool. Another main ingredient of this dish is the fried onions. For this, I have sliced about 4 medium sized onions. Heat oil sufficient for frying the onions. Once the oil is hot, fry the onions on a medium flame. Keep stirring once in a while for even frying. Add a little salt and continue frying. At this stage, when the onions start to turn brown, add about 1 fourth to half teaspoon of sugar for a good caramelization. Now keep the flame on low and continue frying until golden brown. Take care not to burn the onions. Drain the fried onion at this stage. The residual heat will continue to fry the onion as it cools. Powder the cooled dry roasted spice mix. I have taken half cup of curd. Add the curd and grind it to a smooth paste. Transfer it to a bowl and set aside. Now grind the cooled fried onions in the mixer jar. Set this aside. Into a heavy bottom pan or kadai, add 3 tablespoons of oil used for frying the onions. Add 2 teaspoons of ghee for an extra flavor. Keep the flame on low. Add the marinated chicken pieces, the ground masala paste. I am adding a little water and washing off the masala paste. Mix this well. Now keep the flame on medium. Once the curry starts to boil, reduce the flame, cover and cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. Stir once in a while. After about 20-25 minutes, add the fried onion paste. Cover and cook for another 10-15 minutes or until the chicken is completely cooked. The chicken is cooked and the dish is almost ready. Add 2-3 slit green chilies, a few kasuri methi leaves, and optionally for an extra richness, add 1 4th cup of cooking cream. Mix it well. Check for salt and balance of flavors. I am adding 1 4th teaspoon of sugar to balance all the flavors. Chicken Mughlai is ready to be served. Do try this recipe and thanks for watching.